that's a concern for Mark Turgeon. And I asked him yesterday, and one of the things we talked about was his first half offense and his second half defense. He deserved it being number one going into that game last night. I can give them that nod now because I know how legit and good Michigan is. But Michigan's not going to go away, Dave. Inside a bucket from Durham. That's just the second field goal by a Notre Dame starter. Hasn't been able to get on track yet. Another deflected pass. That by Ayala. Now he is on the offense and in. Smashes it down and Fluger. On a short clock. Here's Wiggins. Got a good look. Can't knock it down. But there he is with a follow slam. At the buzzer. Leading scorer for Maryland was Eric Ayala with nine points. And good passing there by Moody to Durham inside. And Gibbs with the basketball for Notre Dame. Plenty of time left. If Goodwin can get to the rim here, he does. Count the bucket. So a three-point chance here for Goodwin. Cowan hustles to get back. Notre Dame can't get off the shot in time. Goodwin lets it fly and drills it. Yeah, that's it. That's I'm telling you, that guy can get going. He was on the free throw line. I talked about it. was able to switch. Had no problem switching anybody on anyone because Notre Dame just can't go by. They really struggled in this game to create closeouts. Modi drills another three, keeping Notre Dame alive. Team Louisville last night and now Virginia, which was ranked fifth, is coming into tonight. We've got number six against number seven up next. Ohio State and North Carolina as Jalen Smith drains his second three-pointer. Big Ten now leads the ACC six to five. Coming up on ESPN next, it's Ohio State and North Carolina, but we're going to get you to Kevin Connor in a moment. For Jimmy Dykes and Dave Bash, so long from College Park.